All right, it's final assembly day, and now I'm just welding on all the tabs to hold the tabletop round to the base. Uh, I do this quite often. I use uh, some eighth inch flat bar about inch and a half wide, and I'll attach it with screws. Most of the time, sometimes I'll use uh, threaded inserts and bolts. It just depends on the project. Uh, this is getting four tabs on the top of it, and uh, you'll see here in a second what I mean. I use these really cool magnetic welding clamps uh, to hold the tab on while I tack it. And then once it's tacked, I'll move on to the other ones, and then I'll hit it from the underside and put a good bead on it to hold it. And then I'll drill a hole in all these tabs, and I'll mount the screws to it. They hold really well. I overdrill the hole uh, diameter by quite a lot. Here I'm drilling the holes for the insert nuts, for the threaded inserts, uh, for the leveling feet. And I use these things called insert nuts. I get them from American Bolt in Austin or McMaster Car online. And you drill a hole, and then I actually made a, uh, a cool little bolt insert tool that I can use my impact driver to insert them instead of having to manually crimp them in. Uh, I made a video about how I do this process that goes into a little bit more in depth, so you should check that out. Uh, but adding leveling feet really helps for commercial clients especially, but anybody who has flooring because flooring is never, never ever level. And uh, it just adds a nice level of professionalism to be able to level your, your piece. So I'm using a, uh, a brown paper bag to basically burnish the top and the bottom of the, of the tabletops. And I got that tip from another video I saw and it actually worked really well. Um, it's almost just like a polishing, kind of a buffing 2000 grit kind of sandpaper that, that's very uh, soft so it doesn't scratch the, the polyurethane, but it took, out, took down any high spots that were there. And now I'm just lining up the base, measuring a thousand times before I drill these holes to mount the screws. And I'll repeat this process seven times until it's all completely done. Okay, the Austin Tech Build tables are finally done. They were ordered at the beginning of this year, 2020, and they're being delivered now, and they probably won't even be in use for another couple months because of the pandemic. I wanted to give you a walk through the tables before I deliver them. They're being delivered tomorrow, and they'll be put to good use. These got raw steel bases, 25 inch round white oak, solid white oak tops. They're about an inch thick, and it was finished with uh, commercial grade ML Campbell two-part poly finish. I don't often finish in poly and I only do it for commercial grade clients or upon request but these because they're in a commercial atmosphere it's just like a restaurant table. Let me show you how they finished up. Here they are. Seven total tables being delivered tomorrow. All white oak. Some of them when there were where there were cracks they got black epoxy in them like so. There you go, you can see it right there. You can see it right there, black epoxy. Just gives it a more unique finish. They requested an East Austin kind of a feel with these tables. Even though we didn't go with an East Austin wood, this has that custom made finish because they were custom made. So, along for the build series of these Austin Tech Build round tables. Stay tuned for the next series. It's gonna be a welding table. Now that I've got my shop cleaned, uh, I've got plenty of room for a welding table. I also bought a plasma cutter, so that's on the way. So if you like what you saw with this build series and you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button at the bottom and drop me a comment. Love to hear from you. Until next time, see ya.